Do you want people to put their trust in you? Do you want to be known as the one who always gets shit done? Well, the answer is simple. Just do what you say you'll do. But as the saying goes, it's easier said than done. People love working with others who just do what they say they'll do. But that rarely happens nowadays. Something always comes up. Deliveries are late, projects are delayed, budgets are exceeded. One of the most annoying things someone you work with can do is be unpredictable. In this video, we'll teach you how to be reliable, have others trust you, and become immensely valuable to the world. Welcome to Alux. We figured we'd make this video into a list since it's easier to follow along and take some notes. It'll also help you figure out which areas you're lacking in and what you can do to improve immediately. So let's kick off the list with reducing friction. Sometimes the space between you and you getting shit done is filled with obstacles. Now, these obstacles are either just there or you place them there yourself unknowingly. Let's say you have to contact a lot of people. Maybe it's clients or potential customers. Maybe you don't have an official email or a template to base your messages on. Or accounts on all these different platforms you need to be on. And when the time comes to message those people, oh wait, you need to do all of these other things before that. You look at them and go, ah, I'll just do that tomorrow. Small obstacles make the task seem a lot more complicated than it actually is. But here's the thing. If you spend half a day just focusing on removing as many of them as you can, the problem is gone. Think about what obstacles are present in most of the things you need to do. If you need to contact a lot of people, but writing is not really your thing, get someone else to do it on your behalf. If you have to write a bunch of stuff, but you have a small monitor and a shitty keyboard, which makes the task unnecessarily annoying, get a bigger monitor and maybe a mechanical keyboard. In other words, look at what things are making your job annoying or unnecessarily hard and remove or remedy them. Sometimes people hide behind these obstacles to justify why they're constantly late or underperforming. We are calling you out here. When in reality, just spending a bit of energy removing them will make your job way easier and you'll actually get some more shit done. Healthy Sabotage you need to finish something today, but you're on your third YouTube video about space exploration and you just can't seem to stop? Cut your internet cable. Okay, maybe that one's a little bit too extreme, but this is the point of healthy sabotage. One of the most well-known writers in the world who wrote an entire franchise, which is now worth billions of dollars, hated writing. There was something about the writing process they just could not stand. So in order to get his book written, he did one of the most interesting things. He went to some of the most boring cities he could find and checked into the worst hotel from that city. His whole goal is to get the book done as fast as possible and get the hell out of that miserable place. The writer's name is Ian Fleming, and yes, he wrote the James Bond series. And this is a true story, by the way. The point is, sometimes the thing you need to get done is annoying, so you don't like doing it, but it's important. There's a very high chance that you'll have to do something like this in the future, or maybe you have to do it right now. So one thing you can do is to put yourself in a position where there's nothing to do but get the thing done. That might be cutting your internet, letting your phone die, going to a secluded place or checking yourself into the worst hotel possible, and don't leave until you get your shit done. Loss aversion. This psychological phenomenon is fascinating to us because it works surprisingly well sometimes. In simple terms, you perceive an equal loss as far greater than an equal gain. So if someone steals 10 grand from you, you'll be way more angry than you would be happy if someone gave you 10 grand. You tend to perform better when you stand to lose something you already have than to gain something you didn't have before. 
For example, if you give your friend $5,000 and have him agree to only give it back if you lose 5 kilograms, you're more likely to actually do it. Now, this doesn't work the same for everybody, but it's worth testing out and seeing the results for yourself. Outside Accountability You can hate yourself for not doing what you said you would do, but you can also forgive yourself pretty quickly. But tell other people, people who you trust and respect, and things will be different. When people get a fitness trainer, they typically don't do it because they don't know how to do the exercises themselves. They do it because the fear of disappointing someone often pushes them to move their asses. After all, you don't want to spend all that money on a trainer and then not show up and look like a lazy idiot. Just imagine if Jim started putting pictures on the wall of those who enrolled in a program and never showed up afterwards. We bet that drop-off rate would diminish substantially. Now the point is, when you use outside accountability, it's not just you that you disappoint, it's other people as well. When you think of all the people who are depending on you to get the thing done, your mindset starts to change. It's bigger than you now. Short-term rewards We're wired to chase short-term rewards, so why not use them to your benefit? It may take a little bit of willpower on your end, but do it right and you'll see impressive results. We bet there are lots of things that will excite you and pique your curiosity, and most likely those things will have nothing to do with your work. You'd sometimes rather spend the whole day reading and researching about AI or programming or drawing and rendering, and sometimes, since you work from home now, you do spend a full day doing that. Nobody can check up on you at home anyways, but then you feel guilty for wasting a full day on something that doesn't have immediate value right now. But what if you made that a reward for getting something else done? What if you get the work done today and then you get to spend some hours on something that excites you in return? With this mentality shift, not only will you start getting more shit done, but you'll also not feel guilty for pursuing other things. Visualization Where do you see yourself in five years? We never really understood why interviewers ask this question. It's not like everybody tells the truth. Mainly because they don't know a lot can happen in five years. But here's the thing. Visualization can have tremendous power if used the right way. Here's an example. Let's say you want to lose 10 kilograms. You may want to see how you would look 10 kilograms thinner. There are probably apps out there that can do that. But how about this? What does a person who loses 10 kilograms life look like? Well, they probably eat fairly healthy and do some sort of physical activity on a regular basis. That's the person you want to visualize and strive to be. Imagine you're in the Doctor Strange universe and there's one reality where you get shit done on a regular basis. What do you look like in that alternate reality? You certainly have an idea. Now it's your job to transform that alternate reality into your current reality. Adding good triggers. There's a lot of people out there who don't get shit done because they straight up forget about it, only to remember at the last minute and enter panic mode. We are creatures of habit, and habits are triggered by different elements from your environment. You spend your morning scrolling on Instagram because your phone is the first thing you see when you wake up. That triggers you to check social media. If you're a smoker, every time you drink coffee, it'll trigger you to light up a cigarette too. And just as these triggers push you into bad habits, they can also push you into good ones. If you set for yourself to be more active, take the stairs every time you have a chance. Now, anytime you see a flight of stairs, it'll trigger you to take them. This type of action is only limited by your own imagination. Find elements that trigger good habits and make you get shit done, then surround yourself with them. 
And on the topic of productivity, we've got a lot of content that we're really proud of where we talk about how we personally get shit done. The best follow-up to this one is the fastest way to be extremely productive. You can check it out in the top right corner or the link below. We'll see you tomorrow for the Sunday Motivational video.